Hey, what's up? Damage here. I just wanted to show you guys some of my guitars. Some are new, some are old, some are expensive and some are cheap. Just the way it's supposed to be. So, let's dive right into it, shall we? Right, so let's start with the Taylor 70CE. This is a great acoustic guitar. I use this on every acoustic part on the new album and it sounds great. And here we have a Taylor, uh, what this called, 114 CE, I think it is. Also a great guitar. This is not uh, my guitar, uh, it's a friend of mine, but uh, I'm gonna buy it as soon as I have uh, the money for it. <laughs> okay, and here we have a uh, Dean Diamond Flame. You know, I've been a big Dimebag fan for many, many, many years. And in my early 20s, I just bought a lot of Dean guitars. As you can see, uh, this Dean V guitar here is also great. Uh, I put in an extra humbucker here, so you have two EMGs there. Um, and here we have the uh, Dean Dime Razorback. Also a great guitar, you can see it's, it's a road worn, like it's supposed to be. Uh, and here you have the Seymour Duncan Dimebag Signature uh, humbucker, sounds awesome. We also have that in this one, the Dean ML, original Dean ML, sounds great. And here is a awesome Dean guitar, it's the Split Tail. And I think this is one of the greatest Dean guitars I have ever played. It, it got the uh, V profile on the neck. And I think it's Dean pickups in there, I'm not sure, but they also sound great. Passive pickups, sounds awesome. Uh, <clears throat> and then we have um, Ibanez guitar, not sure what this one is called, but it's uh, got the Explorer uh, shape and uh, DiMarcio pickups, awesome guitar, used it on uh, Breed Another War album actually. And then you have this one, the Schecter Diamond Series Hell Razor Hybrid, 7 string guitar. Used it a lot on my upcoming solo album. Sounds great. Uh, and here we have the Schecter E1, the newest guitar which, which I used on um, the Eurovision Song Contest here in Norway. Jorn with Faith Buddy Faith. Awesome guitar. It's got the Fishman uh, Fluence humbuckers in there. Kind of dusty. I need to uh, clean it up. Great guitar. Um, and then we have the Schecter Mr. Damage signature model. Just kidding, uh, I put this on myself. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is also a great guitar. Um, not sure what it's called as usual, but it's a V guitar with EMG pickups in it. And then we come to this workhorse. Uh, this is a Schecter Hellraiser, um, and I've used this one on many uh, Chrome Division shows and Chrome Division albums. Sounds great, man. Uh, plays great, sounds great, heavy as hell. This is not a light waiter. And uh, then we have its evil twin brother, the uh, Schecter Hellraiser Diamond Series Chrome Division Edition. Um, it's the same guitar, but it's black. Uh, so, yeah. Awesome guitar. And then we have the uh, ESP, uh, what's this one called again? ESP, not Deluxe, but uh, Eclipse? Eclipse, of course it is. ESP Eclipse, ladies and gentlemen. And I actually bought this one from, from Chagrat. So, great guitar, yeah. And in this department we have some various guitars, you know. Uh, some good and some cheap and yeah, what can I say? Uh, this one is my first Gibson Les Paul ever. It has been with me uh, for uh, 23 years, I think it is. And the cool thing about this is that uh, it has Sequad signature here and it has the Slash signature there. And uh, a handed Slash, the, the um, the marker I gave Slash was so used that he had to sign it many times, as you can see, just to, just so it would show. So Slash and Sequild, 
So this one, I'm not playing that anymore. Very big and used a lot, man. I used this one on the first breed album as well. And here we have, uh, here we have uh, Angus Gibson SG. I think this one is called Platinum, Silver Platinum. It was, uh, it's a limited edition from Gibson. And this is a great guitar, man. Great guitar. I should play it more. Yeah, it's awesome. Even says Angus there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and uh, this crazy fiddle right here is uh, Ibanez X series, which I used in Eurovision, uh, Eurovision Song Contest uh, 2013, I think it was, with Grunt and Emil Sulitanian. And this guitar right here is a uh, old <laughs> beat up guitar. It's my first electric guitar. And it says on the side here, are you stupid in Norwegian? So um, that's kind of funny. Yeah, as you can see, it needs some TLC. But it's my first guitar. I bought this one, yeah, carved in ACDC as well. I bought this one when I was, I think I was nine years old. So it's uh, been with me for almost 30 years, man. Oh my God. Time flies. This fella is, uh, this is an Ibanez guitar, a jazz guitar. And we used it on the music video for Endless Nights with uh, Chronovision. Great guitar, almost never played it, but it sounds great. <clears throat> and here we have a Fernandez Stratocaster, uh, which I beat up as usual. I bought this one in, uh, I think it was 1998. And I carved out almost all of the wood, don't know why. But I put in a sustainer pickup system. So I used this one for the sustain parts on my uh, albums. Yeah, and it sounds great, you know, believe it or not. Oh yeah, and here we have the Selenos uh, signature model. LTD Occultist. And this very guitar is from the Abra Hadabra era uh, with Demi Borgir and uh, he used this on the uh, Gateways music video as well as the uh, tour uh, for that album so you've got some history right here yeah awesome and uh, then I have this Warwick Corvette uh, German made Handmade guitar, uh, I mean bass, sorry, bass. I used this one on um, some Chrome Division songs from uh, One Last Ride and also uh, the whole solo album, which I'm gonna release soon. Kick ass bass. And then we have this uh, cigar, I don't know, is it ukulele or whatever, something. Cigar something, it doesn't sound great, but it looks funny. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Then I have, of course, a practice amp. Marshall MG15 MS2. And um, <clears throat> Mesa Boogie Triple Rectifier. That amp is from the 90s, old amp. And the Eugene Kettner Coral Blade. That's a great amp, by the way. And of course, the PV6505 Plus power head used on Chrome Division tours, many albums and many albums to come. A legendary amp. All right, that's it, folks. Take it easy. See you next time. Bye-bye.